Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you enjoyed that slick little intro there. Shot that with my buddy, James Matthews, just a few weeks ago. That guy's an epic YouTuber, filmmaker, videographer. Dude's a genius. Really fun shooting with him. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about a new bag that I am super pumped about. I've been using it for about three weeks um, and I'm very happy with how it's been performing. If you guys have followed the channel for a while, you know how much I love camera bags, specifically travel focused or adventure focused travel bags, because when you're out and about and you're traveling, the last thing you wanna think about is your bag. You want a bag that's gonna work and not get in your way and just contribute to an effective shoot and to a good traveling experience. And there's one bag brand that has always done that for me and that is Shimoda. I reviewed the Shimoda Explore 40 liter backpack, I think two years ago now on the channel, massive fan of that bag, but Shimoda just released a version two model of that bag and that is exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Shimoda Explore 35 millimeter backpack, which is the version two model, the updated model of the original Explore series. And this is the backpack here. Now just a disclaimer, I didn't pay for this bag, but I also didn't get paid for this review. It was just an exchange. I can say whatever I want, so I'm gonna say whatever I want. But just another disclaimer, I'm a massive fan of this bag. I'm a massive fan of the brand and the things that they make. So it might sound like I'm a total Shimoda fanboy, and that's because I kind of am. They're just really great products, and I think they really are some of the best travel photography backpacks that you can get, and I'm gonna be talking about that in this video. So, so I just wanna do a basic coverage of the bag, talk about some of the things that I like about it, and also help you decide if it's a good buy for you. And if you guys are interested in buying this bag, this just launched on Kickstarter literally today. So I'll put a link in the description. You guys can check that out. I think you get a massive discount if you buy it on the Kickstarter. All the bags are already made and ready to go. They're ready to be shipped out. So it's not like you're supporting something that doesn't exist. This is an established brand, but the link for that is in the description. Now this bag comes in three sizes, the 25 liter, 30 liter, and 35 liter. I'm a big dude. Um, and I carry a lot of camera gear, usually two bodies and at least three lenses. So for me, the 35 is perfect, but the 25 and the 30 are also amazing sizes, probably more suited for people that just don't have a ton of gear. Um, those are even smaller, more compact and just really great bags. But this is carry on friendly uh, and it just works perfectly for me. Um, and they also do come in green and black. Both are really cool looking colors. I would have been happy with either, but I opted for the green because I already have a ton of black bags. But let's start checking out this bag and let's start with the exterior here. And as you can see, it looks pretty slick, but it still does have a rugged look as well. And I think that's important for a travel photography focused bag for somebody that's gonna be out in nature, um, they're gonna have to put it on airplanes. I um, mean, they might be wandering throughout a city as well. This kind of does all of those things. So for a photographer like me, who's often in urban environments and outdoors, this is perfect for what I do. But taking a look at the bag, you can see we have just a bunch of different pockets, a bunch of different zippers. There's tactical straps on the sides that you can use to strap on your tripod or some other gear, like a tent or something. We have pockets in the front. And I'm gonna show you guys what's in all these pockets, but I just wanna kind of focus on the exterior first. So one of the things that I love so much about this bag is it actually has a solid metal frame. Uh, and what that does is it adds a lot of stability and, and that allows you to distribute the weight in the bag really, really nicely. And, and I think that's one of the things that really makes Shimoda shine is this uh, rigid structure to the bag, as well as some amazing straps that are super plush. And on the updated model of this year, um, they actually have better airflow as well. So you're not gonna get as hot with these. I didn't feel like I was getting hot with the old ones, but, but this one does have slightly more plush straps. So I'm psyched about that. Um, and you can see there, there's pockets on these straps as well. Um, this is a phone pocket, or you can also put a lavalier mic in here. I use the Rode Video Mic Go when I'm out in the field, and that just clips on right there. Perfect for field use. Um, and on this side, you can have some sunglasses. I usually put my sunglasses right here um, and a lens cloth, so I can just whip that out and clean my gear. Um, the waist straps on this bag are actually removable, and that was huge for me because the first model, you couldn't do that, and they always got in the way. I'm actually not a massive fan of waist straps. Unless I'm hiking, then I need them. But if I'm just traveling and I don't want those out, the bag looks way more understated when you don't have those in. So I'm the kind of guy that always takes this out, and I actually did take it out, but I put it back on for the review. But I'm gonna take it out again just so I can show you guys how easy it is to take off. It's actually Velcro, so you just need to reach inside. Yank it out, 
And there you go, you don't have the waist straps. And that's gonna be easier for me to move this bag around the table. But yeah, I would leave those on for like hiking or adventures like that. But when I'm traveling, I like to have an understated look and this is perfect for that. So I would take those off at like the airport cause I don't want them weighing my bag cause this thing usually weighs a freaking ton when I travel. But anyways, nice that those are removable. But let's take a look at some of these other little pockets here. On each side, you actually have a tripod holder or a water bottle holder. And these are huge, so you can put in a big tripod, big water bottle, and it's on both sides, which is awesome. And they're not sticking out all the time, so keep them tucked in when you're not using them. Here's the other side. You can see that one's in there as well. And this pocket here is actually has a filter holder inside, so you can put some filters in there. So you can see I have a filter here, a lens cap here, you can put your filters in there. So this is specifically like for landscape photographers, which is awesome. Or if you're a videographer and you carry your ND filters, you can put those in there, that's awesome. This front pocket doesn't have anything special in it, but it does go all the way down to the bag. So that is great for putting cables and stuff. So I usually put my cables down in there. And then this side actually has access to the main camera compartment. And we'll talk about the interior of the bag here in a second, but you can access your camera there. And there's a secret little compartment here where you can store like your passport or something, which is great. Another thing I love about the exterior of the bag are all of these handles. There's a handle on the top, there's a handle on the side, and there's a handle on the bottom, which is awesome because you have back access to your camera here. So you can open it up and then pick it up and move it like a platform. And I do that a lot while I'm shooting because I want to have full access to my gear. If I'm like on a location, I need to be able to switch lenses. I can leave it open and still move it around. Such a game changer. I really love that feature. The handles are solid. These things are not coming off, no chance. Uh, and another thing worth noting is the bottom of the bag here is made with a super durable material. So nothing's getting in there. You're not gonna get your bag scratched up. And the material on the exterior of the entire bag is also really solid. I'm not worried about my gear. So yeah, from an exterior standpoint, I love the way the bag looks and it's super practical, but let's talk about the inside of the bag. Now this is a modular system. So it has core units that you can choose from. They're small, medium, and large core units. Um, and those hold all of your camera gear. Now I have a medium and a small core unit and you can access the main compartment of the bag in three different ways. From the side, which I showed you guys earlier, the side access um, from the back. So you can actually put it on its back, unzip the entire back of the bag where you can see you have uh, all your gear in here. So this is how I'd usually pack it. I'll put my 70 to 200 right here. Uh, one of my other bodies, I'm using my cameras right now, so that's why they're not in here, but I would keep multiple lenses as well as accessories up here. I have an Osri camera strap and some other things as well. Um, and it does have room for a 16 inch laptop, so you're future proof for the new MacBooks that are coming out. And I keep all of my cleaning gear in here and I usually just toss it on top of there so I can have it ready to go to clean my gear at a moment's notice. Now, the cool thing about the back of the bag also is you have access to a little accessory pocket here where you can put things that you're gonna need during a shoot, but you can also access this pocket from the top of the bag, which I'll show you in a second. So you can access from both sides. There's a zipper on the bottom and the top. So that's really awesome because sometimes you wanna access something without having to open up the entire back of the bag. I have a power bank in here. Um, sometimes I'll keep like my mic stuff in there. Um, but there's a lot of other accessory pockets in this bag, which I'll show you guys later. So if you like bags with lots of little pockets to store your stuff, this is the bag for you. But yeah, I have some other stuff in here. Overall, it's really solid back here. Like I said, I love that metal frame. And the core units are really solid as well. They're not too plush. They don't take up a lot of space, but they're solid. They're not going anywhere and they're really gonna protect your gear. So the third way to access the main unit of the bag is from the top here. And this is great because you can actually access your laptop here or access that pocket that I just pointed out a second ago. So there's my power bank. Um, and there's also another big pocket on top here that holds a lot of stuff. Now, I actually put a small core unit in here because I like having quick access to my camera from the top and from the side. So I usually put one camera here, one camera on the side. And then if I am going to a shoot or want everything in one place, I can easily take this small core unit, put it above the medium and have everything accessed from the back of the bag. But with the small core unit on the top faced up like this, I can't access it from the back, but I can easily access it from the front, from the top, which I really, really love. Um, and I also like put my phone in here and my wallet while I'm driving on my motorbike. I usually just put my bag in front of me. 
Um, so that's super handy. I just have a film camera in there right now just to show you guys what it's about. There's also a documents folder here where you can put things like your passport. There's a key holder, maybe some other things that you wanna access quickly while you're traveling. Big fan of that pocket. And then the last main pocket is this pocket here in the front, which has uh, two little storage areas here. I have some hard drives in there um, and so an SD card holder. And these are solid, they're see-through, but they're like, solid, nothing's getting in there. It almost feels waterproof. Uh, and then this actually extends down all the way to the bottom of the bag. And there's a little divider in here so you can divide things. So this is a great compartment for clothes. I had a rain jacket in here, an extra shirt where we were shooting the other day, um, and some other things as well. And there's a little hook here as well. So lots of little compartments for those of you that like to carry lots of things. Um, like I said, I like to carry a lot of little things while I'm out shooting. So this bag really does a great job at doing that. And you can also buy some little accessory pouches that you can strap onto the bag or put inside from Shimoda as well. Those are all very well made. Now this bag comes with a rain shell that you can just easily slide onto the bag. Um, as well as some extra straps. And these can be strapped on. You can strap on a tripod or uh, a tent or kind of anything if you're hiking on bigger trips. These are awesome. So you can hold more stuff. So those are just in the bag when you buy it. But yeah, overall, that's the gist of the bag. Those are the main pockets, the main features. Um, and I think it's kind of hard to grasp what makes this bag so good if you're just watching it from a video. Um, and I think the main takeaways from this video is this bag is very, very well made. The zippers work, everything is fluid. There's never any hiccups while you're using it. In other bags I've had, it always seems to be some type of a problem when I'm trying to unzip something or it just doesn't hold water well or it loses its shape after a few years. My old Shimoda Explore 40 liter bag is still solid. That thing is like brand new and I've been using it. I've been beating it to hell for like two years. So I'm excited to see what this one can do as well. I really love these new features. And overall, I think for a travel photographer, somebody that's gonna be out and about exploring, shooting in different places or landscape photographers in particular, this bag is really fantastic. Um, and I am excited to travel to America and to Europe later this year and then back to Asia. I'm in Bali, so I'll be back here. And yeah, I'm excited to really put it to the test. If you guys wanna learn more about this bag, go ahead and click the link in the description there. Um, that is an affiliate link, so if you guys buy through that, I do get a small kickback, like 10%, but I do earn something from that, just an affiliate partnership. But I really do love this bag so far. Big fan of the brand. All of the owners, the founders, are legitimate landscape photographers. Ian, he's legit. Dude takes awesome photos and he makes awesome products as well. So you're supporting uh, a community of photographers and not just some big company that just makes a ton of bags. These guys are active in the industry. But that is it from this review, guys. I hope it's helpful for you in deciding which travel photography backpack is best for you. I'm a big fan of this bag. I'm gonna continue using it. If you guys have any questions about this bag or some of the other Shimoda bags, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to talk about these bags in detail. I think they're gonna benefit you quite well and I honestly think they're coming in at a very good price point as well. You can spend a lot more on a bag of this caliber and I'm confident that this bag is going to last you for years. But that is it from me guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next one.